Hi, it's James and Kernan again. I'm going to show you how to build a 4x8, a 4x8 foot uh, standard TV flat from start to finish using the traditional materials, which is pine, 1x3 pine, and Luon, quarter inch Luon. You always start your cut list by cutting the long pieces first. I'm going to start with cutting the styles, which are going to be 7 foot 10 and a half. What I do is I cut off both ends. When you get a factory end, the factory end, the one by three we have here is waxed, but you also don't know that it's a square edge. So by starting with the square edge at one side, you can get as close to perfect as possible. Next two pieces I'm going to cut are the rails, which are the top and the bottom of the flat, and they're going to be four feet. The pieces of wood I have here are just around eight feet long, so I'm not going to be able to get two four-footers out of it, but I can get the internal, the toggles, out of the offcuts. These are eight-foot long pieces, yeah. pieces I'm going to need at the two, four, and six foot heights are the toggles, which are three foot ten and a half. save much time. If I were doing more than one flat, I definitely would have used the stop block set at three foot ten and a half or four foot or seven foot ten and a half depending on what I wanted to do. Just because I wouldn't want to have to measure everything. I'm going to mark them just so I know what's what. I'm just writing a T on the toggles and an R on the rail. If I was doing a larger cut list, I would put the whole measurement on it. Next part about building the flat is how you set your styles. 
I always set my styles so that they go in and they push belly to belly. You don't want to put them together just out of habit and have a space in the middle. You want them forcing themselves together in the middle. It's easier to keep the flat together that way. They won't be trying to pull apart, but over this length, it's not a big deal, but it's just best practice. Now, unlike the other flat I did, this flat is going to be built standard, and it's going to be built so that you have your toggles at two foot centers. Oh, Waze, could you come on around here and give me a hand? I was just hoping you could hold that like that for me. Thanks. Now, I've put a rail at the top of this because you are going to be doing your measurements from the top of the flat. And since you're going to have a rail sitting at the top of your flat, you might as well start with one now doing your measurements. Now, you could do a two foot measurement, so it's two foot on center, or what I like to do is split center with a three eighths of an inch mark on either side, so you end up with a three quarter inch gap in the middle, so you know exactly where your wood is supposed to go. It's just an extra couple marks, and that way you know you're going to be perfect, or as close to as you can be. Thanks, Ways. Now, so I have my two rails. Uh, this bench is only five by five. Sometimes you build on a smaller bench, sometimes you build on a bigger one. What I like to do is set up my wood so I'm ready to put it together. I always turn my toggles to the side so they don't get in the way later. Ways, perhaps you could help me by putting that in that orientation. No, no, no. Right across the bench, just like perfect. Just leave that there. Beautiful. And let's get the 16 gauge nailer going, please. So I've put inch and three quarter uh, 16 gauge nails in here. I'm going through three quarters of an inch of wood into the end grain of this wood. I like to be a quarter inch longer than the dimension I'm first going through. So three quarters times two is an inch and a half. Inch and three quarter would be a quarter inch longer. Thank you. It doesn't make a big difference which one you start on, but you're going to glue all your joints. And the important thing when you're building flats or risers is you build one frame-wise and then you skin it right after. You don't want to have to leave time in between. Now the important thing you're trying to do here is flush up the top and flush up the edge. Sometimes you can't flush up the whole edge, so what I do is I start at the bottom and then I do the top. So the side's flush and the top is flush. And the top is the side you're eventually going to skin. All right. Now, in this particular flat, the next thing I'm going to do is the rail on the other side. And then I'm going to put my toggles in. Now, waist is just going to help me from keeping it falling over because we now have too much going on the other side. Weight-wise, in this one, I'm just going to glue this both edges before we go. Now, I'm putting one eight, uh, pardon me, 16-gauge nail at the bottom and one at the top. I'm going to follow that with a screw in the middle. Don't go directly to screws. You'll never line it up properly. The nails, in this case, do an excellent job of helping you out.